Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Get ready, fasten your seat belts. We're going to play some World of Tanks. We're going to learn a little bit about map positioning. Well, I'm not going to talk about specific map positions. I'm just going to talk about how I think about map positioning when I'm playing the game. We're going to do it in my Tier 9 Italian Heavy, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite Tier 9s. And I'm on Lakeville, and everyone knows heavy tanks need to go to the city. That's the only option you have if you're a heavy tank, is to go to the city. Wait a minute. No, it's not the only option. It's not the only option. And that is the first thing to learn about map positioning. You can go wherever you want. Just because you're a heavy tank, you don't have to go to the city. Just because you're a light tank, you don't have to move forward. Just because you're a medium tank, you don't have to flank. And just because you're an SPG, you don't have to sit at the back and eat Twinkies and click. Why am I going to the valley? I almost never go to the valley. I tell everyone, don't go to the valley. But I looked at the uh, lineup. There are, there's no SPGs. I'm top tier. I've got good gun depression. I have a decent turret. If there's any time that it might be fun to go to the valley, this might be the time. Otherwise, I have to fight in the city where you can... It's very difficult to use your gun depression on the flat ground where your hull is exposed and I have to fight objects in the city. So would I rather fight some objects in the city or some Muppets in the valley? That was my uh, choice and I decided to fight the Muppets in the valley. Like this one that is not using his gun depression on the ridge line is just sitting there um, waiting for me to shoot him I guess was his strategy. And the scorpion who is now pulling out because he wants to get shot too. And just like that, even though I flubbed a shot, we're at almost a thousand damage. Okay. Now, if there was artillery in the game, this would be a miserable, horrible place to be. Especially if there was three SPGs in the game. So, the topic of map positioning is have a look at the lineup. Have a look at what enemies have. For instance, let me go through some for instances while you watch me play the ridge line here um, uh, in the valley. I'm going to punish anyone who who tries to shoot me here because I'm I'm pretty. Oops, except for that guy, he's got he got a good position on me there. Let's just take this little muppet out who's decided it was not safe at the back. It's time to move up. It's time to go back to your garage. And you too, why not one for you as well? Uh, take one for you. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we got a long reload now. We can talk about map positioning. Um, let's say there were two wheeled vehicles in this game. If there were two wheeled vehicles in this game, I would avoid at any cost uh, the lake road or any of the open kind of bushes around the lake. If there were two wheeled vehicles, I would be uh, in the city or right here. All right. Wheeled vehicles means aggressive forward bushes as a medium tank. Forget about it. If there were three SPGs, I'd say uh, forget about being right here or anywhere where there's direct SPG. Uh, easy. Oh, wait a minute. We have to deal with another Muppet. If I can turn this turret. Just cercato di kilo the Muppeto. There you go. Up the ass for you. I think that's what uh, anazzato nemico distrutto in Italian means. Take one up the ass, you stupid veiled vehicle. You... <laughs> I'm going to try and make this video uh, make sense here, guys. So, looking at the lineup is hugely important. If there's three artilleries, don't go here. If there's a lot of wheeled vehicles, don't go into those easy-to-spot forward positions. So, basically, if there was artillery and a, a wheeled vehicle in this game on this map, I'd be in the city. The city is the only choice because you have cover from artillery. You've got kind of cover from the wheeled vehicles. If you have gun depression, which I do, for crying out loud, try and pick a ridge line. This is a ridge line. Look at this. I, you know, I can shoot down. Uh, my gun missed. Let's try and aim these. He thinks he's safe. You think you're safe, but you're not. Especially now. Wish I had all four shots. Now this VK, on the other hand, not the best position for him because he's a big, huge box. But, uh, you know, where else is he going to go? He came to the valley, so he's doing his best. But uh, not, uh, not ideal. Not ideal. 
You see the uh, mini map there, the Super Hellcat, the Scorpion B, the T-34, those guys on the lake road there? If there were two EBRs in this game, and uh, two Tier 10 or Tier 9 EBRs or one, they'd be lit. Right? The EBR would just be driving around like a Muppet. They'd be lit. They'd be dead. They'd be lit. They'd be dead. But now you ask the question, okay, you went to the valley. What Now what? Now what? What do you do? I think I've done as much as I can do in the valley. So what map position do I take now? I keep poking and I get lit. And I know there's an SU-130 PM and a Scorpion. And there's that Carnarvon right there. And I'm lit again, right? Oh, well, yes, I'm lit. So moving forward now would not be taking a good map position. <laughs> it would be taking a very bad map position because I'm just going to get farmed. I could rush down there to kill the Carnarvon. I could clip him. But I'm going to get hit by two huge TDs on the way. So right now, this is a terrible map position. I'm not doing anything. And I'm not advancing the battle. I can't hurt the Carnarvon. I can't poke around the corner. So you may ask yourself, Klaus, why are you lingering here? Because I'm not a super unicom. It has taken me now two or three minutes to realize, okay, this is not going anywhere. And it's time to relocate. One more poke there. He's not going to make the same mistake and let me farm him again. I'm going to get let. So I need to change my position. How do I do that safely? Okay, i got to kind of do a little reverse turn here. Try not to... I don't want to push my teammate in. Okay, get the hell out of here. So lesson number two or three. Uh, sometimes you find yourself in a shit map position. Uh, it was a good map position at the beginning of the game. I, I you know... I'll did quite a bit of damage. But now it's a shit map position. Because the enemies are entrenched. The TDs are waiting. They're pre-aimed there. Anything I do over that ridge line now results in me getting hit. So when you're in a shit map position, use the W key. Leave. Right? Leave. Now let's find an enemy who's in a bad map position. Their light tank that's on the lake road. Spotting for nobody. He's moved up aggressively. You see him? The WZ? He's moved up aggressively. Why? Well, he's being aggressive, but who's he spotting for? We've got guys in the city. I see a T-34-100 in the city. I guess there could be someone in the city that he's spotting for. Let's find out. Is it worth him being here? Well, um, let's see. So far, not so much. Uh, yeah, a little bit less. Yeah, it's not. doesn't look like it's really worth it for you to be here. Uh, a bad shot there because I'm not a super unicom, but uh, yeah. Probably not a good idea for him to be there. And oh, there is someone. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, there's a scorpion. So he got some spotting assist. He paid for his life. Now the VK should have stayed on the ridge line at the center there. And he would have stared down the Carnarvon and uh, that Leo from poking over that ridge line. He would have made it look like we were still there. But he backed up. And now he's getting overrun. And our super Hellcat that was sitting at uh, A2 who never really provided any support fire, has left. <laughs> so poor VK, you are dead. You stayed in a bad map position. And you made it worse by retreating halfway. And now watch this. Don't let him know I'm here. Let him commit. Let him commit. Let him commit. As he committed, he's committed. You have committed. You have committed an error. And my gun has just committed an error. Goddamn gun. <laughs> Stupid gun. Okay. If my gun had not committed an error. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> either stay in the center ridge line or retreat is the, is the moral of this story. Right? Where I was when I started, take you up. Either stay in the center ridge line on the valley or retreat. They don't linger halfway like our VK did. He just got overwhelmed. Now, what do I, how do I handle this Carnarvon? Is that the best place to go, or is the city the best place to go? Looking at the last known positions of the enemies, the T-95 is definitely still in the city. The Carnarvon is there. The SU-130PM, is he still camping there, or has he moved to the center of the valley, the ridge line? If I go after the Carnarvon now, there's a chance I'll get hit by the Carnarvon and the SU-130PM if he's moved to the center of that ridge line. How much HP do I have? Yes, I can take the hits. I don't want to take the hits. So let's at least make sure I have all four shots. 
I have all four after the beeping stops there okay I've got all four shots I did not want to commit until I had four shots in case they're both here let's just poke slightly is the S I don't see the SU 130 p.m. on the ridge line okay let's just go after this guy the SU 130 p.m. is not in a good map position to support his teammate if he was up there on that ridge line there's a chance I could be dead ding dong Klaus is dead but he isn't where is he nobody knows maybe he's still at the base no there he is he's gone to the city why wouldn't he <laughs> his Carnarvon and his Leo pushed the valley and killed the, my teammate the VK we're winning the valley finally the SU 130 p.m. was supporting the valley rather than go poke that ridge line and support his Carnarvon and Leo he drove to the city that's an example of taking a bad map position. All right, now, where do we go now? Super Hellcat has finally decided to become super, and he's super propelling himself towards the enemy base, where he will get some super cap points. He will try and get uh, Invader Medal, which is the only medal he's ever gotten in his Super Hellcat. <laughs> because he has speed. <laughs> he can go cap at the end of the game, is the strength of his tank. Okay, he's going to cap. Our Borsig is now going to fight a T-95 from the front. It's always good to sit in front. The T-95 is an interesting tank. It, it has four sides like most tanks. Three of those sides are unprotected. The, the front of it has a big gun sticking out. So obviously when you fight a T-95, you want to approach it from the front, uh, the, uh, the side the gun sticks out of. This is what the Borsig is, um, is attempting to do. He's doing okay though, yes, surprisingly. But it, I would, I would propose that it's probably a better idea when uh, trying to engage one of these large turretless TDs to approach from the rear. I would say approach from the rear, but I let you do the decision. Up the ass, game over. Ah, amico, distrutto in Italian means I uh, shot you up the ass and you are dead, and the game is over. Why not? <laughs> yeah yeah okay let's watch another game and, and a not so great game yes i lost credits i know hey this is uh world of tanks what 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 the hell do you expect what happens when you go to a map position and you you know you pick the wrong map position or it's just not working out let's let's watch this game this is a very different game it's not going to be uh, dominating on the battlefield well on the other hand uh, maybe it is a little bit of dominating on the battle I'll let you be the judge I play this game very, very uh, poorly, I'd say. I, I, and I, this is what I do on this channel sometimes, guys. I don't, I don't just show you the ace tanker, super, uh, you know, t 11 kills, 10,000 damage. Yeah, I played 700 games. This is the best one. <laughs> Enjoy. GG, you should buy this tank. It's not one of those. Sometimes I, um, I pick out certain games that uh, show different things. And sometimes... Um, Sometimes I have to show games that I don't do very well. And then I can do commentary and explain why. Oh, and I'm already detected. That's fun. That's fun. That's, that's wonderful. Because why not? Why not lose? Why not be detected in the first 10 seconds uh, and uh, lose 400 HP? Why not? <clears throat> I guess their little bulldog there moved to an aggressive spotting position. So, note to self, heavy tank crossing this opening. Uh, be careful. Uh, take, the, take the wide road. So I've lost some HP. Was that a dumb move? No, it was just good play by the enemy light tank, I'd say. A little combination of both. I could have went wider. Note to self. I've learned that now. I'm in a heavy tank and I want to go up here. Hug the, uh, hug the edge of the map. But I don't think there's any way of stopping myself or protecting myself from getting detected there. All right, now I'm looking at the minimap. I see most of my teams in that, uh, in the center. You see all our guys in the center there around G4, and also we have an ELC even. So I, I'm thinking to myself, we have control of the center. So we can push this and not be in a crossfire. All right, let's try and uh, do some damage here. These enemies have retreated. We got a lot of guys uh, in the center there, so... I can move forward. You see where my teammates are? 
There's a uh, T-44 and the Pantera. We're not going to get shot from the center because obviously my teammates in the center are going to handle that Bulldog and that Pershing no problem. Let's just do this. Get over here and try and clip someone. Oh, bouncing like a boss. Yeah, now I can do some damage here. Now I can do some damage. Boom. Yeah, side scraping like a boss, right? Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting shot by a Patton. Oh, what, what's going on? I thought our teammates, we had a lot of teammates in the center. What? So now we're in a crossfire. My teammates in the center, none of them have poked this little area there. And, and now I'm screwed. Now I'm concentrating on this. I missed both shots. I'm getting shot up the ass. What the hell do you do here? Let's stop the replay right here. What would you do? What would you do? Okay, well, I, I've completely screwed this game. I lost some HP at the beginning. I thought I had teammates in the middle, but they're not poking the ridge line. I'm going to get shot from in front. I'm going to get shot from behind. I'm going to get shot from the right. I'm going to get, you know, enemies to the left of me. Enemies to the right. Here I am stuck in the middle with nothing. What do you do? Uh, well, it's easy. It's easy. You just run. Run! Okay, I, I realize I am in an absolute shit position. I can't turn around to fight the guys shooting me in the ass. There's a standard B that's going to shoot me. I, I can't. I have two choices. I turn around and take one or two shots and then die and say, Oh, well, you know, rage at my teammates. Uh, or, or leave this game. Okay, it was a bad game. I did a thousand damage. It's over. Move to the next game. Or... Just get the hell out of there. So I decided to get the hell out of there. I'm a heavy tank and I'm running. I'm a running man. And I'm running. And I do have a lot of teammates at G4 there in the middle, but none of them have poked that ridge line to put pressure on that, uh, uh, on that uh, bulldog and, and Pershing. Oh, well. But they can't read my mind. They didn't know that that's what I wanted them to do. They just... Drove to the middle and they're playing their game. And now I have no HP. So I was in a shit map position and I left. Now, if I stay here and all those enemies that uh, push that side come at once, I'm dead. Once again, I'll get two shots and then I'm dead. Maybe one shot and then I'm dead. So retreat further. Retreat further. Because why not? And this is not um, this is not uh, a, a tutorial on how to play this map. Obviously, guys, right? This is a shit game. I'm doing the best I can in a shit situation. And sometimes, just trying to not make a shit situation shittier, just trying to survive, leads to some benefits down the road. Okay, now I'm waiting here and I'm looking at the map. My team still has control of that center at around G4. They still have the high ground there, which is good. I want to support this Progetto here in case the enemies YOLO in. And he's poking that corner and he does not see anyone. So I make a decision here. Okay, I've wasted more time. This is no longer a good map position. If you just saw this replay without the commentary, you'd be thinking, Klaus, what are you doing? Like the artillery is aiming at me. You useless player. That's it, man. They have a point. I'm having a shit game. But there. Okay, I know I have a shot here. But let's make a count there. Boom. At least I was able to help my team by uh, killing one guy. And now my teammate's dead. Ding dong, my teammate's dead. The one that I thought was safe. It's 8-9. I've got no HP. Where do I go now? Where do we go from here? Do I push that way? I could run into two or three enemies. I don't know who's over there. I have teammates behind me. Oh, the artillery took one out. Well, that helps. Well done, Mr. Artillery. I have a lot of teammates behind me. Look, all my teammates are still around that center. They can take care of them themselves, right? So I'm just going to guard this position. This is what, what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the best map position for me now is to just guard this. In case they come around the corner, I'll be able to use this cover, back up, clip one of them. Right? This is what I'm thinking. How far do I go? Now, I, some new enemy known positions. They're all in the center there. Wait a minute. If I go around, the SU-130PM could shoot me. The MKR could shoot me. That's a bad idea. 
Indecisive Klaus decides, no, no, that's not a good idea to go out there. Remember when I, at the beginning of the game, when in the first 10 seconds, I got shot, spotted and shot there? So not, not a good idea to go back there. The ELC goes. <laughs> We're playing musical chairs. We're playing musical chairs. But there's, the, there's that guy. Okay. I had a lot of teammates in the middle. And now all of a sudden, I don't have any teammates in the middle. They're all I am died. It is strange how games work, but as the game changes, now this is the best map position. If I can kill, the, if I can save my artillery, as these guys cross this open here, if I knew how to aim, <laughs> if I knew how to aim, I could have helped my artillery. But hey, it's an SPG. He needs no help. Let's help him with this. Centrato and Centrato again. Boom, boom. They went back to their room. The M53, M55 shotgunned the light tank. The ELC is fighting a standard B. I'm going to go help the ELC who handled that other guy. And now it's a close game. And the only reason I'm contributing at all in this game is because I ran away. Oh, and the ELC. Ding dong, the ELC is dead. Which ELC? The one who's dead. And now we're losing. But the only reason the game's still going on is because uh, I ran away. Fall back. Fall back! Sir Robin ran away. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Now, the standard B's there. The Borsig, I see the last known position of the Borsig. I think it's kind of safe to go around here. There's no one but the standard B to be found. Where's the standard? Maybe I can get a lucky shot. Here's a one shot. Do I get a lucky shot on the standard B? I don't have to worry about the Borsig. Oh, there's the Borsig. Oh, oh okay. Uh, hi, Borsig. Preso. Well, okay, I only have to worry about the standard B now. Oh, wait, there's another Muppet. I guess this is a good map position now. <laughs> yes, I did do the commentary on this video after knowing what would happen. But it was a, a, the proper move was to go after that standard B because the Borsig was last seen way at their base. And that other guy, the artillery, well, a, a, an artillery that's propelling himself aimlessly around the map is not a threat. An artillery that's uh, sitting uh, pre-aimed somewhere he can shoot is a threat. So that artillery was just a gift. But the standard B has survived. What would the standard B do now? What map position should I take now? Okay, the standard B is losing now. He's probably pissed off that his teammates threw their tanks away. So he has gone back to base, obviously. A good player will go back to base, sit in a bush, and set up an ambush. That's what a good player will do. A bad player will wander around aimlessly. So let's forget about the bad player, because uh, there's no counter to a bad player. If, he, if, if he's wandering around aimlessly, there's no strategy other than we spot him and kill him that we have to worry about. We only have to worry about if he's a good player. So if he's a good player, I think the strategy now is for me to go first. He's a one shot, remember, he's on very low HP. If he's gonna set up an ambush, I want the SPG to come with me. And if I'm unlucky and get detected and taken out, then Mr. SPG can just, you know, shotgun him, splash him. He's only got a few HP, boom, we win the game. If the SPG goes first, the SPG has very poor view range. The SPG could get killed without spotting him. I'm counting on the fact that if he ambushes me, at least when he kills me, I'll detect him, which will allow my SPG friend here to then shotgun him. But it's going to be tough because the standard B has a... He does not have a, a long reload between shots. So I should go first. And that is why my uh, teammate in the SPG is cresting this ridge line before me. So that he can get killed without detecting the standard B. So then it's a 1v1. What, what the hell are you doing? Can you? This is a bad map position he's taking here. He does not have to go ahead of me just because his tank is faster. His tank is faster. So when he presses the W key, it moves faster than mine. But he, you do not have to do that. And now I'm telling him, just wait. I'll round the corner first. You just come with me and be right behind me. If I get killed, you just get ready to shoot. And now he's pointed the other way. I, you, know, you, can't tell, you can't play your teammates' tanks. But you can try and, um, 
and communicate with them. And he says he's moving in to support me, which is perfect. So now, the standard B is probably camped somewhere over there. That's the best map position for him. And the best thing for me to do is approach carefully. And if I see him, my teammate now is going to be ready to shoot. If he kills me, hopefully then my teammate uh, will kill him. And so what started as a shit game where I basically did nothing and was in a really bad position. I correct when I'm going to die. No, Wargaming just says, yes, you win. GG, you're shot. Zoom! You, you win now. You are, you are a winner. <laughs> yes, you, you do not need your SPG to help because you are a super unicorn. You... That was a breaking ball, zoom, with a little spin, so it dropped just into the strike zone. Strike three, you're out. Well, I showed you a couple of games, guys. One that I played pretty well, and one that I, uh, you know, you can't uh, dominate in every game. But I always try and make decisions of where should I go, where at least I won't help my team lose. And uh, sometimes I uh, actually end up helping my team win. Let me know on the in the comments what you guys think. Leave some comments, and we'll catch you again on the next one. After all was said and done, it was right for you to run.